Hello everyone, today I'm at Hershey Park, Hershey, Pennsylvania. We have made it. This is the moment I have been waiting for this whole summer and I'm going to be riding my 100th roller coaster today, which will be Sky Rush. I'm so excited. Um, and I, I think it could be very possible that Sky Rush might be my new favorite coast. Like, I don't know, we'll see. I think we'll do that one first, but right now it's nine o'clock and the park doesn't open until 10, so First, we are gonna go to the Hershey's Chocolate World. We are gonna do the chocolate tour. First, I need a bathroom. I need to find the bathroom. The only thing I'm not excited for, it's supposed to rain today. Ho hopefully, like I've heard, like on an app I saw, it only said like one hour, so we, that's the time we can like maybe eat lunch, like ride the laugh track and stuff. And yeah. Right now it's like nine o'clock. It's not supposed to rain until like two o'clock, so yeah. We're arriving at the Hershey's Chocolate World. See right there. But even other than Sky Rush, I'm looking forward to other amazing rides like Storm Runner, Fahrenheit, Lightning Racer, Great Bear, and many others. So, I'm also looking forward to the bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, we made it. We are inside Hershey's Chocolate World. One of the funniest things about this is that it smells like chocolate as you arrive. Like, I feel like it's really cool. Got uh, create your own candy bar thing. Um, we're gonna do the chocolate ride. Yeah, Hershey's chocolate tour. We're gonna do that. Mm. Okay, let's Yeah, we're gonna have a good time on it. Yeah, I think this is like, yeah, like stuff you can do. Like you can taste some chocolate, create your own candy bar. Um, do like a 40 show. It's really cool. What I'm describing Hershey Park as is the Cedar Point of Pennsylvania. There's just so much to do. There's a zoo, water park, Hershey's Chocolate World. There's a lot included with admission. First up on our um, experience is the Hershey's Chocolate Tour. It's gonna be chocolatey goodness. A little bit of a line to get inside. I didn't realize the ride was a moving platform. That's pretty awesome. Unwanted parts like pulp and bits of cacao pod. Right. Our cocoa experts carefully select, sort, and combine beans from various countries in precise amounts right? <laughs> to achieve that unique and consistent Hershey's flavor. Hello. They're going to the roast. Oh, Zach, you're so roasted. <laughs> oh, this is where I get to roast my mom here. <laughs> it's warm. It's warm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's good. We us now. Where was the place yesterday? Yeah. Into yeah. Large revolving yeah, roasters, which room. get extremely hot. Toasty in here, isn't it? <laughs> Next, we quickly cool the beans and feed them into our breaking paper, which packs over the shells at high speed. Inside each shell are tiny pieces called cocoa nuts. Hey, a good friend of mine is waiting up ahead to tell us more. Hey, everyone. Below me are milling machines which grind cocoa nibs into unsweet oh, chocolate. Yeah. Cocoa oh, nibs yeah. have been ground down like this for thousands of years. Milling machines generate like of heat through intense pressure and friction. The grinding turns cocoa nibs into the smooth dog liquid used to make milk and dog chocolate. Again, I, the last time I was here was Our pressing machines squeeze the unsweetened chocolate into discs of cocoa powder known as Hershey's cocoa. Of course, after any Hershey's chocolate ride, you gotta get a Hershey's chocolate bar. They're free after you get off. Um, the Hershey Park ride, like the chocolate tour, was nice. Um, it reminded me a lot of a ride at, like, it would be like a good ride at Epcot, that's why I'd say. But yeah, it was fun. Now heading on into the park. Goodbye, Hershey's chocolate world. Now into the main park Hershey Park. It's supposed to be a nice, cloudy day. Maybe with some rain, but yeah. So this is the whole park right here. I'm starting to see Sky Rush right there. That will be my 100th right there. Sky Rush. And also there's Comet as well. There's a ton of more like around there. Super Duper Looper, Great Bear, Sidewinder, Storm Rider, Fahrenheit, Wild Mouse, Wildcat, Laugh Track, Lightning Racer. So many roller coasters to choose from in this park. It will be so much fun. Starting to see the entrance to the place.
looks a little busy today. Hopefully it's not too bad. Searching Park's all busy. Oh, I'm starting to see one of the banks on Skyrush. That means we're close to it. Oh, oh yeah, the backless entry line. I don't have a bag, so we're good. Oh, I'm starting to see Skyrush. I am like so excited for Skyrush. You guys are saying I'm so excited. And I brought the right shirt, got my Fury 325 shirt, and um, this is gonna be a big park, and it's supposed to rain, so it's gonna be really hard to like navigate everywhere. Um, then we've got the fast track system, so that should definitely cost some time. So my plan is to start off with Skyrush, and then go to Great Bear, then Stormrunner, then Fahrenheit, then Wildcat, and then Lightning Racer, and then um, maybe save Laugh Track for when it rains, and like maybe do Wild Mouse, Sidewinder, then the ones I've ridden. Yeah, look at that beauty right there. Heck yeah, man. Man, I can totally see it right there. They got Milton Hershey right there. Pretty cool. So excited, you guys don't understand. I've been riding coasters all my life and now I'm like, can't believe I'm at 100. This is just amazing. It'd be hard to like navigate through here. I haven't been here in 12 years, so it's gonna be hard to navigate through the park. These rides look a lot taller than I remember. I think it's because of the fact that rides use the terrain to its advantage. I can start to hear the comment, and then Skyrush right there. This thing looks so tall. I'm so pumped. 212 feet in the air. 75 miles per hour. I'm not looking forward to the fire pain, though. That, I'm not looking forward to that. I can't wait to do this. Super Duper Looper. And great bear as well. Should be a fun time. Guys, I just rode Skyrush. I don't even know what just happened. I don't know what just happened. Oh my gosh. That is one of the single greatest roller coasters I've ever done. Top two. Like, oh my. That was insane. I'm going to take my little cousin on the Super Duper Looper. It's going to be her first looping coaster. So, it was my first looping coaster. So, I'm going to take her on this. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. And yeah, that for it's on to Great Bear. So I just rode Super Duper Looper. It was a coaster I rode when I was four. Um, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, the the Virgil Loop is a lot more forceful than I remember. Like, almost just as, well, not quite as intense as Mindbender at Six Flags Over Georgia. That's why Mindbender's, in my opinion, is a lot better from like Six Flags Over Georgia. But I do prefer that over the Scorpion. It was good. I liked it. But was it so, would it be something I would like to ride all day? No. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, after I ride Skyrush, like, Super Duper Looper is like nothing. So I think next up we're gonna go on the Great Bear, the B and M invert. You love the Great Bear? I'm gonna ride that one next. And that's my cousin right there. If you want to say hi to the vlog, <laughs> say hi. that's my cousin right there. It, that was not her first time on Super Duper Looper. She probably rode it years ago. Yeah. But yeah, I'll ride Great Bear next. Then Storm Runner, then Fahrenheit, then the Wildcat, then Lightning Racer. Um, let's go to my plan is. Before the rain comes, I haven't seen many ra any rain at all recently, so we're doing good so far. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. It's always a part of Zach's plan. Zach's plan. Okay, so um, my dad ordered like a chicken parm sub, some cheese sticks. And it was pretty good. Not the best park food I've eaten, but it was pretty good. I'm looking at the radar, like or the weather. It's not supposed to rain until 4 p.m., so we're good so far. I've, now I'm even more confident. Next up, we're riding Great Bear. Trying to find the entrance to this thing because I have not ridden Great Bear. Um, I'm pretty sure it's over here. One second. Where? 
You know it's in this area. Aha, I found it. Great bear. This will be a good one. I love B&M inverts. This will be my seventh B&M invert. My favorite one being Montu. I doubt Montu will be any better, but this will be a good one. Hey, can we switch to Ron's snacks? Taylor by me, bro. So I just rode Great Bear. That was one fantastic B&M invert. I was very impressed with it. Um, it's much better than the Batman clones. I wouldn't say it's quite as good as Alpen guys, Mon like Afterburn Monte. I wouldn't say it's as good as those, but it was good. I really think this like triple drop tower looks very appealing to me. We're also walking down Stormrunner. Over there, I think around that's where a uh, Trailblazer is as well. So yeah, this they've got the Hershey's Tower. Um, Reese's Tower and then like the Kisses Tower. Yeah, it's Kisses. Oh yeah, also around next to um, some runners of a coma boomerang known as Sidewinder. We'll do that one later. We're gonna try. We're trying to get on the unique roller coasters first, and then like. Oh, yeah, we're, we're Storm Runner's gonna fly by here real quick. Yeah, there it is. There it is right there. So yeah. Yeah, this layout's a little strange. Just like that one inversion right there. That one inversion looks really strange. So yeah, Stormrunner, Sidewinder, Fahrenheit, and Tidal Force, which we're not gonna ride that. That thing looks pretty too. Marvel Universe Live, nice. Got Marvel going on here. Yeah, the Trailblazer. Uh, it's Arrow Coaster. We'll ride Trailblazer later. I, I rode that when I was uh, four as well. Same with the uh, Comet. Hopefully you don't get a rollback on a uh, Stormrunner. Stormrunner gets more rollbacks than Walmart does. <laughs> we have made it to Stormrunner. And there's also Sidewinder too going out there as well. Okay, I want to watch the plush. Get ready. Here we go. I'm so excited for that. Yes. I didn't realize this was a double loading platform. That's pretty cool. I love Intamin roller coasters. After buying Skyrush, I'm just I'm in love with Intamin. Words can't describe just what what just happened. I just rode Storm Runner, short, one of the best roller coasters I've ever done. It was I like the versions like much more airtime than like like it was really twisty and also like the launch was insane. Like it was the acceleration was incredible, and it was very smooth too. It was pretty smooth. Like not the smoothest, but but I love it. Definitely, definitely my top ten for sure. I think we're gonna do Fahrenheit next. So yeah, we're gonna head that way to Fahrenheit. Next ride on our list is Fahrenheit, an Intamin roller coaster. It's another Intamin just like Stormrunner. It has a vertical lift, a beyond vertical drop, and many inversions. So this one should be good, and afterwards we're gonna ride Wildcat. Looks like Fahrenheit is delayed right now. Looks like they might be cleaning up something. I don't know what it is. And then again, like like I mentioned, like Sheikra and Mako, I'm not showing any vomit on this channel. If it's delayed for a little longer, we'll head over to Wildcat. And then Lightning Racer, Laugh Track. Yeah, the whole shebang. And Wild Mouse, Sidewinder, Trailblazer, Comet, even the Triple Drop Towers, and Cold Cracker. Got everything at Hershey Park, man. So as of right now, it looks like they're only doing one train dispatches. That's no bueno. It does look like a fun ride. Can't wait to ride it. Here comes the train. Are they letting us on? I guess they're not. I don't think, I don't know what's happening right now. Fahrenheit has just been conquered. And that was fantastic. I really enjoyed the Beyond Vertical Drop and the inversions falling behind it. It's pretty intense as well. Really enjoyed it. And let's go on to Wildcat next. Oh, wow. 
Wow, I didn't realize you get a really good view of Fahrenheit from right here. It's nice. Do you know what's not gonna be nice? Riding the Wildcat. Hopefully it's not that bad. Um, it's a GCI, but I've heard many things about being really rough. Um, but we're about to ride it for ourselves to see maybe actually how rough it is. Now, by the way, sorry if I look all like, my face looks all like messed up and stuff. I'm peeling, which means like, because I've had sunburnt, like if you remember from my Maurice Pierce vlog, I was all sunburnt now, it's like starting to go away, so yeah. Now yeah, let's go on the Wildcat. Hopefully it's not too rough. Whoa! That is huge! That is huge from Tidal Force. Apparently it has a pretty gargantuan splash. I like how this two GCI's got Lightning Racer over there, which I'm really looking forward to Lightning Racer than the Wildcat. Oh, here we are at the Wildcat. This is gonna be rough. Wow, look at that. Yeah, okay, here it is. Something like down there, I think. Okay, here it is, Dad. Wildcat. Wazzy. It's gonna be Wazzy again. Hopefully it's not as rough as Wazzy. Hey, listen to this. <laughs> make seal noises. <laughs> Why does it make poor seal noises? Poor seal noises. Poor seals. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully they enjoy their headache. <laughs> it does look kind of on the rough side. Hopefully it should be enjoyable. One more cool fact about Wildcat is that it was actually GCI's first ever wooden coaster, believe it or not. So we're writing a piece of history right here. So I just rode the Wildcat. Um, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, it was definitely rough. It was a rough ride, but it didn't give me a headache. I, pro I would ride that again, but I don't need to ride it again. Um, it, was, it was pretty good for GCI. Do I love it? I don't think I love it, but I liked it. It was good. And at the end of the day, it's all about, like, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun, right? And not having your head rattle around. Then the seal noises, that was the funniest part, was the seal noises. I really enjoyed that. But that was not bad at all. Um, yeah, def I mean, I definitely would, like, like them to RMC Wildcat, but I mean, it's not as, it's not that bad. So to all the people who really hate the Wildcat, sorry, I liked it. So next we're gonna do Laugh Track. We made it to Laugh Track. It's time to laugh our way through the entire ride. What the Hunter. Hunter. Is this? Whoa, hello. That looks so funny. <laughs> oh man, I'm small. Time to get on the Laugh Track. <laughs> this used to be a fun house, but now it's full of evil clowns. It's time to start the countdown. I'm gonna burn it down, down, down. I'm gonna burn it down. For all those who know that song, Fun House by Pink, it's a good one. Fits in for a laugh track. <laughs> Just did left track. That was a good spinning coaster. Um, really enjoyed the spinning sections. And also, um, it's that lightning racer. I think it is. Anyhow, um, yeah, there's some good spinning sections there on that one. And also, um, it's also like, also in the dark, it was really cool. I probably for Cobra's Curse over um, left track, but left track was fun. Um, next up, we're gonna ride lightning racer. Um, which is two credits. So yeah, it'll be fun. It's your time, baby. What's up? Time to race on the lightning racer. I just did lightning racer both sides, lightning and thunder. And that was so much fun. Best GCI I've ridden. You like that? Love it. Yeah, lightning racer, baby. Yeah, he loved it. Remember the wildcat? Remember how rough it was? Oh, really rough. It yeah, wasn't as bad as I thought. Before that. <laughs> it wasn't as rough as I thought it would be, but Lightning Racer was very smooth, much smoother than Wildcat. Um, also, best GCI. Um, 
it's just I love how it's just the racing aspect was so cool um, layout itself like white lightnings layouts much better but the reason why I like lightning racer more is because um, of the whole racing aspect it was just so cool very well executed in my opinion I think next we're gonna do the wild mouse um, and I just know wild mouse even though I hate wild mouses but yeah let's just do wild mouse Time for the wild mouse. Well, it's probably gonna be really painful. Let's hope it's not. Just rode wild mouse. Uh, oh, honestly, that is one of the worst wild mouses, if not the worst. That was awful. Super jerky, really rough. I admit the drop was good, but not something I'd ride again. It was awful. Okay, so next up we are gonna ride okay. Sidewinder, the boomerang. Really looking forward to the boomerang. You know, it's just a boomerang. It does have the soccer strain, which is nice. So, Sidewinder has just been conquered. It was good. Definitely a good boomerang. It's just like every boomerang, except it has the soft restraints. And also, the fact that as they're going in the station, it doesn't like, it's very quiet because they added magnetic brakes. It's not as good as the one at uh, Carowinds, but it's better than the other three I've done. The one at Ocean City, um, Maurice Piers, and Wild, sorry, uh, Wild Ventures, yeah. Those were much, those were not as good, but I like Sidewinder over those, but I still prefer the one at Carowinds over this. But it was good. Now on to Trailblazer. It's time to ride on one of the oldest coasters in the park, Trailblazer. Just rode the Trailblazer, and that was alright, I guess. It's another mine train, um, I guess it's probably one of the weaker mine trains because of how short it is. But it was fun. Um, one of the funniest things, my, um, Uncle rode it and his hat flew off. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Now we're gonna ride a Comet, the uh, PTC wooden coaster. The oldest coaster at Hershey Park, send that one for last, baby. And I doubt we'll do the kitty coaster because it's closed. I looked on the app, it's closed. Um, and then we'll try to do the rides like Cold Cracker, maybe the Triple Drop Tower as well. It'll be a lot of fun. Look at these little baby ducklings. That's cool. Started to come back to this area. The Great Bear is right there. Great Bear was fantastic. The, the Storm Runner going right there. I absolutely love the Storm Runner. I really enjoyed that. Then Sky Rush. I am in love with Sky Rush. But we're going to the Comet PTC Wooden Roller Coaster. I rode this when I was four, but I'm gonna ride it again because so I have a good feel for it. So for when I'm doing my countdown for this park, like for my top roller coaster at this park. Yeah. Is it closed? I'm not sure if it's closed or not. Yeah, the comment's right there. This wooden coaster has buzz bars. Yes. It has buzz bars. Just rode Comet, the old wooden roller coaster, and that was amazing. That was a good one. Um, I'm not sure if I like it more than Wildcat. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I think maybe this is better than Wildcat, I guess. Um, but definitely not as good as Lightning Racer when it comes to the wooden coasters. But it was fun. Um, definitely a ride I'd ride again. Um, I think we're we'll gonna do um, Super Duper Looper next or, get, or maybe get some food. Got some food here. I've got the mozzarella sticks. I've had these earlier. Then the chicken farm sub. Next up, we're gonna ride the park's log flume, the coal cracker. So let's go ahead and ride it. Just rode the coal cracker. I did not realize you got air time on the drop. Like, got it went through the drop, and then it got a little like pops of air. That was crazy. It was like a like a little bit of a Belly Dwight's Rip Cell Falls going on there. It was super cool, and I really enjoyed it. We are doing the Hershey Tower. We're also Reese's Tower, but we're also going to do the Reese's like, Extreme Peanut Butter Cup Challenge. Then there's a little Kisses Tower. That one's like very similar to one at Wild Ventures. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah, buddy.
Please remain seated until the ride has come to the seat. Once it has, you may push up on your shoulder straight and walk to the nearest exit. Thank you for riding your seat from the tower. Enjoy the rest of your day. Welcome to the Hershey's Tower. All this Hershey's asking about the background. Just did the uh, Hershey drop tower. That was pretty interesting. Um, compared to the other SNS drop towers I've done, we're not gonna do the Reese's or the Kisses tower. Um, but we did the Hershey tower, and what was cool about it is like, like after even after like you're done launching up, it doesn't end. Like you just they just hold you there and then you just drop. It's really cool. I was really impressed by it. We're going to try to do the Reese's Extreme Peanut Butter Cup Challenge next. It's like a shooting dark ride. So let's do it. Last ride of the day. Reese's Extreme Cup Challenge. Shooting dark ride. Let's do it. It's my score. 135,000. 578,000. Let's see. 120,000. I think I got the highest one. <laughs> and our hosts right here are absolutely so. incredible. Just rode the Reese's Extreme Cup Challenge. Um, that was pretty bizarre. That was one of the strangest rides I've done. Um, one of the strangest um, shooting duck rides I've done. Um, it felt like a roller coaster. It was so weird. That was the last ride. We're about to head out now. One of the coolest things I didn't know is that these lockers are almost exactly like Universal's lockers. I think that's pretty cool. These are all the roller coasters right here. We only missed out on one, the Coco Cruiser. But if I'm missing out on any roller coaster, I would choose the Kitty Coaster. But we did all this. It was a successful visit. Looks like it's starting to rain now. Good thing it's we're leaving right now. Um, the park, like the like the walk distance, wasn't as long as I thought it would be. I was expecting the distance to be much longer. Um, but. If I have to say, like, choose any theme park, it'd be my favorite at the moment. I have to say, Hershey Park is probably my favorite park I've been to. Out of every park I've been to, Hershey Park's my favorite. So I'm going to end off this vlog right in front of the Hershey Park entrance, right here. So, that will do it for this um, vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below, what's your favorite ride at Hershey Park? Mine, of course, is Sky Rush. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more vlogs in the future. Also, don't forget to check out... Um, the social social media link uh, which will be in the description below and catch you guys next time have a theme tacular day